Thanks for watching this replay of Travel Hacking 101 Live. Tonight we're talking about earning maximum miles, points, and cash back when dining out. All right, uh, for those of you new to Travel Hacking 101, uh, I have an affinity for two things. Number one is bourbon and whiskey. Number two is gummies. So at the beginning of each one of these, I uh, like to introduce the bourbon and the gummies of the night. Uh, tonight in a Kerr jar, if you're not familiar uh, with the Kerr jar, it's a very useful convenience to have around the house and of course shares a last name. I have a Noah's Mill uh, small batch Kentucky bourbon courtesy of a co-worker and uh, I haven't tried it yet, been letting it breathe for the last uh, 10 minutes. Um, it is 57% 114 proof, so I'll put a little glass of ice in it, let's see how uh, Noah's Mill is. Ooh, yes. All right, and then on the gummy side tonight, uh, my mother-in-law was nice enough to send me some Easter um, Lifesavers gummies. Uh, so, welcome to Travel Hacking 101 if you didn't know that. Noah's Mill Small Batch Kentucky Bourbon. Uh, great topic tonight. I get a lot of questions about this all the time. Sometimes it's really good to go back to the basics, to go back to the 101-isms, as I sometimes call it, and think about in your everyday average spend how you get maximum points um, or cash back. As I get started here, please uh, everybody tell me where you're tuning in from tonight, where you're having dinner, uh, what credit card you're going to use tonight, if you're going to be uh, going out to a restaurant in the comments. I love to see where everybody's tuning in from. Um, and then uh, uh, I'll go over uh, the three basic topics I'm going to cover tonight or the three questions underneath our one topic. So number one is uh, how do you get 10% cash back on dining? There's um, a couple cards out there with really great bonuses that I'm going to tell you about. Hey, in from Bali, all right. I uh, went to Bali for three days, the uh, day after the uh, Marriott opened there and had a great time. Um, uh, the second topic I'm going to cover is uh, the best cards uh, for using uh, when you go to dine out. You're going to hear, uh, be very familiar with a couple of these. Um, and then some of them you're not going to be very familiar with and you're going to be like, glad, man, I'm really glad I watched Richard's video. This is great. I didn't know about these cards. And then the third question is uh, uh, how can you earn um, double and triple uh, cash back or points? How can you double stack or triple stack so that you really get a lot of points when you go out to eat? And uh, we're going to talk about all of those tonight. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, how do you get 10% cash back on dining? So a couple new offers that came out this week um, and you're gonna see uh, some links posted in the comments tonight by Mrs. Melody Tao. Um, those of you familiar with the videos have seen Melody moderating for me. Uh, she's based in uh, sunny San Diego and actually headed to the ballpark tonight to watch the Padres. Too bad it's not the Atlanta Braves, the only baseball team that anybody should care about. But Melody's gonna post the links that you need to know. Um, and uh, the first one is um, the Blue Cash Everyday Card from American Express. Limited time offer, it looks like until the end of May. 10% uh, cash back on your first $2,000 in spend for the first six months that you have the card. So you're going to get $200 um, cash in your pocket uh, in the first six months if you spend $2,000 at restaurants. And uh, on top of that, you're going to get a $100 sign up bonus uh, for the first uh, spending $1,000 in the first three months. Um, so you can actually end up with $300 cash back in the first six months. Uh, on top of that, 3% cash back at all supermarkets um, on the first $6,000 in a year, and then 2% at gas stations and department stores. Uh, what's really great about this card is zero annual fee. The Blue Cash Everyday Card from American Express. 10% cash back on $2,000 in dining in the first six months. Uh, $100 uh, cash back if you're spending $1,000 in the first three months you have the card. No annual fee. 3% cash back from supermarkets on the first $6,000 of spend. 2% from gas stations and department stores. Melody's going to put the uh, link uh, that you can go and get the card if you uh, are interested in this. Um, remember, don't ever get a credit card unless your FICO score is over 700. Don't ever get a credit card unless you know you're going to meet the minimum spend, in this case $1,000 to get a $100 bonus, and then don't ever get a credit card unless you can pay it off in full every month. Uh, I get paid a commission if you use my links and you're approved for the card. I love this group. I say this spiel every time. It's great to be supported by you guys. It doesn't cost you anything extra. And 10% cash back at restaurants. Uh, the second way American Express is offering uh, a little bit higher bonus, a little bit higher tier, is called the Blue Cash Preferred Card from American Express. Same deal, 10% cash back on restaurants for your first $2,000 in spend in the first six months. 
You get $150 bonus after $1,000 in purchases in the first three months. It does have a $95 annual fee, um, so what that gets you is the extra $50 sign-up bonus, and then you get 6% cash back at supermarkets um, for the first $6,000 in annual spend at grocery stores, 3% at gas stations, and 3% at department stores. So the $95 annual fee for the Blue Crash Preferred card gets you a $50 extra sign-up bonus. You get 6% cash back at supermarkets instead of 3% on the everyday card and you get 3% cash back at gas stations and department stores instead of the 2% on the no annual fee. So two cards you may have not heard of, 10% cash back on dining, first $2,000 uh, in the six months you have it. Check out the links, thanks for supporting the group. Um, and remember, uh, as we go through today, ask your questions. Melody's gonna put um, the uh, questions down here on a little moderator sheet that I have going live. Um, and then remember at the end, we're going to give away six months of Award Wallet Plus. If you're not familiar with Award Wallet, a one-stop shop to track all of your loyalty programs with one single login. Usually it costs $30. We're going to give it to you free tonight to one reader who hangs around through the whole presentation. So recap, 10% cash back to American Express cards, Blue Cash Everyday card, no annual fee. Blue Cash Preferred, $95 annual fee, 10% in the first six months. I didn't know about these cards. Um, sometimes American Express also offers 10x points on uh, one of the cards. Um, I don't see that right now, but I wanted to make you aware of this. So uh, the second topic tonight, um, what are some of the best credit cards to use? So here are the ones that you've probably heard of and that some of you may be using, and then I'm going to cover some of the ones that you haven't heard of. So number one, uh, the Chase Inc. Plus card. Unfortunately, this card is no longer available for sign up. It has been replaced by the Chase Inc. Preferred. What was so great about the Chase Inc. Plus card, and I know many of you have it, is the five times points at office supply stores. What does office supply stores and dining have to do with each other? Well, the office supply stores sell uh, dining gift cards. So if you walk to a Staples or an Office Max and you see that huge gift card rack that they have there, you're going to see a lot of different restaurants' gift cards there. I take my Chase Inc. Plus, I go ahead and buy the gift card uh, from Staples or Office Max, and I got five times Chase Ultimate Reward Points. For and I use the gift card at the restaurant. So if many of you have that, don't ever forget, whenever you're driving by the next uh, Staples or Office Max, Office Depot, go ahead and uh, check out uh, if they have your favorite restaurant uh, gift card there. They have quite a few. 5X Ultimate Rewards is huge. Card still available for sign up that you're probably familiar with. Chase Sapphire Preferred, uh, that gets two times points at all restaurants. And then of course the new Chase Sapphire Reserve gets three times points at uh, restaurants on all dining. So what does that really mean? 3X Ultimate Rewards, great for transfer partners, maybe even better if you look at uh, the cash value of those points towards booking through the Chase Ultimate Rewards portal. Um, so 1.5 cents each towards paid travel if you go through the Chase Ultimate Rewards portal, earning 3X points, that means you get 4.5% cash back on all dining towards paid travel. Uh, one of the most common questions I'm getting right now is when does it make sense to go through the Chase Open Rewards portal versus transferring to a travel partner? Um, you really just have to do the match, or sorry, the math for each one of those situations. You gotta go and look at the price of the ticket, the price of the hotel, and see if it's gonna cost you less points to transfer and book that flight or hotel, depending on where you're traveling, and you gotta see how many points it's gonna cost if you go through the paid um, avenue and remember if it is paid airfare most of the time it's not going to be a bulk fare which means you earn elite qualifying miles and you earn redeemable miles on that ticket if you're an elite you're eligible for upgrades so the airline treats it as a paid fare just make sure you're not going to purchase a bulk fare if you want to know how you're going to purchase a bulk fare google frequent miler ultimate guide the bulk fares and he's got it broken down for you right there so handy Handy uh, tips, and then remember Chase Sapphire Reserve, 3x points equals 4.5% cash back towards travel. All right, some of the other cards you've probably heard of. City Thank You Premier Card is two times dinings if you want to earn thank you points so you can transfer, transfer to some uh, different travel partners than Chase offers. Um, really great card to have. And now let's talk about some of the cards um, maybe you haven't heard about. So number one, are the Discover cards. Do I have any Discover fans out there? If you have a Discover It card or a Discover It Miles card, what is so great about these cards is the first year. So the first year you have the card, they double and match all the cash back or all the miles you earn. So what's great about the Discover It cash back card is that it has rotating categories just like the Freedom. Every quarter you get um, 
five uh, up to five percent cash back, and then they're going to match everything in the first year. That equals ten percent cash back if restaurants or dining or any of the other places you can buy dining gift cards happens to be in that quarterly bonus. So pretty great deal there. Um, discover it cash back five percent can very quickly become ten percent. Um, if restaurants or any store that sells restaurant gift cards um, equals that. So the second Discover card is the Discover It Miles card. Um, 1.5 miles on every dollar spent. And remember, Discover matches everything with no cap. And I've seen some ridiculous statements about how much Discover has actually matched. Ridiculous. And they'll send you a cash, send you a check at the end of the year that says, hey, here's all the cash back you earn. We're going to double it. So that means three miles per dollar spent everywhere, including dining. So three Discover miles um, from the Discover It miles with uh, match in the first year. And then uh, one other card you may have not heard about, and this is a little bit more advanced. We're going to go from 101 to 201 or 301 here really quick. The Wells Fargo Propel card. Um, who's heard of Wells Fargo Go Far Rewards? Please, everybody, if you haven't heard it, go Google it really quick. Some really unique things you can do about uh, you can do with Wells Fargo cards, but the Wells Fargo Propel card earns um, two times Go Far rewards, is what Wells Fargo cards calls their points at dining. Um, what's cool about it is if you add a Wells Fargo Propel card, which has no annual fee, with the Wells Fargo Visa Signature card, which also has no annual fee, your Wells Fargo points are worth 1.5 cents each towards airfare. So that means two times points at dining equals 3% cash back towards airfare with no annual fee uncapped with uh, the Wells Fargo Visa Signature Card. So you've got to have both cards to make it work in tandem. Combine your accounts on GoFar Rewards and you'll get 3% cash back towards airfare. But wait, there's more. If you spend more than $50,000 in a year on your Wells Fargo Visa Signature Card, your points are now worth 1.75 cents each towards airfare. So if you have the Wells Fargo Propel card, you have the Wells Fargo Visa Signature card, both with no annual fees, um, your points will then become worth 3.5% cash back towards airfare from all of your dining for an entire year. What's the best way to get uh, approved for Wells Fargo cards? You need an established relationship with Wells Fargo via a mortgage or a checking account for a few months. And then you can apply um, with no recent inquiries on your report, meaning in the last 90 days, and there's a good shot that you're going to get applied for those cards. Uh, for those of you that are more advanced, you've probably heard of the Wells Fargo Visa Signature Card because it offers uh, five times points in certain categories like drugstores and supermarkets uncapped for the first six months. So anytime you go into a CVS, Rite Aid, grocery store, um, you can get five times points for the entire first six months and some people have really made a lot of miles that way. Um, so a really great program to look into, especially when it comes to dining, if you can pick up both those cards. They also offer some other bonus category spend on the Wells Fargo Propel card. It's also a lot of people writing saying, hey, 524, I can't get any more Chase. I have five personal Amex. I have four charge cards. I can't get any more Amex. What am I supposed to do without Chase or Amex? Go to Wells Fargo, go to US Bank. Go to Bank of America. Go to Discover, which we've talked about tonight. A lot of other options. I get messages that say, hey, Richard, I'm out of cards to apply for. Um, I guess I should, like, no, this, you're never going to be out of cards to apply for. Remember, there's nothing wrong with closing credit cards when done the right way. So watch my video from last week. Um, actually, I think from two weeks ago in the SPG video. And at the beginning, I tell you the right way to close a credit card. So uh, let's think about that. And then one other card, of course, you've probably all heard about the Freedom card. Um, but what's really cool with the Freedom, which offers five times points on rotating categories on a quarterly basis. Sometimes restaurant is one, um, not this quarter, but supermarkets are. Remember, go to the big gift card rack in the supermarket and pick out your dining gift card. Get your five times points on dining when you use the gift card. Um, but if you have a Freedom card and you get five X points from gift cards at the supermarket, and you have a Chase Sapphire Reserve card, remember you can combine those points. So take your Freedom uh, points, combine into your Chase Sapphire Reserve, and now they're worth 1.5 cents each towards paid travel. So that essentially gives you 7.5% cash back on any dining gift card that you buy at a supermarket. So a really easy way. Um, remember also with Chase, if you add an authorized user, you can then transfer points between each other. 
So if you have a Chase Freedom and your spouse or loved one also has a Chase Freedom, you can combine those points, add them into your Chase Sapphire Reserve, and now both of you are getting 5x points, which can become 7.5% cash back. Really great deal. I've seen a few people mention um, the targeted promotion of 10x dining on some of the Chase cards this quarter. You can call in and ask if you're targeted for that. Um, and uh, before we go to the third one, I want to remind people to ask questions. Melody is going to take them down uh, as we go through. Make sure your questions tonight stick to the dining topic uh, or any of the other things I've hit. And um, I'll be sure to answer those as we go through. So I'm going to catch a couple of them here real quick. Uh, Matthew says, what do you recommend for dining purchases after you've spent the $2,000? Maybe some people could hit that in one week with business dinners. So number one, I want to go to your business dinners if we're spending $2,000. Holy smokes. I think uh, some of the most um, expensive dinners I've been to have been in uh, Las Vegas when some friends have hosted us. And then some of the ones, unfortunately, I've had to swallow the check for uh, over in Europe, especially in Paris. Um, completely off the wall, there's a place in Paris called A la Biche Bois. It means like the deer in the forest or something like that. A la Biche au Bois. Um, really, really local Parisian cuisine. It is quite expensive, but you're going to find things there like pork head cheese, um, really great uh, deer meat, and it's going to make you feel like uh, you're in the essence of Paris. So go ahead and uh, take that tip as a little bit of bonus tonight. Uh, as you guys have the questions come in, I'm going to go ahead and go on to the uh, last and final topic tonight before opening up to open uh, Q&A. So what are the ways that you can double and triple dip and uh, really travel hack this besides just using the right card? Number one is the Mileage Plus X app. I know some of you guys and gals are probably fans of that. Uh, but if you're not, Melody is going to throw up the link to the Mileage Plus X app. It is something that you need to download on your phone right now. The way it works is you uh, put a credit card in there for payment and United Mileage Plus program has partnered with most of the restaurants that are nationwide and chains that you've heard of. And you can go in there and instead of giving your waiter or waitress your credit card, you will punch in the amount that you owe into the app. The app will spit out a gift card for that specific restaurant and you're going to earn anywhere from 0.5 to 5 miles per dollar on uh, that restaurant visit. So say you go to Buffalo Wild Wings, they're earning 5 points per dollar, you get your check, it says you owe 30 bucks to Buffalo Wild Wings. Pull up your United, United Mileage Plus X app, type in $30, it's going to spit out a Buffalo Wild Wings gift card number that's good for exactly $30. The waitress just punches in that gift card number at her turnstile and your check is paid. All you got to do is leave a tip and you say you got 150 United miles. But wait, there's more. If you're a United Mileage Plus card holder, you're going to get a 25% bonus on any miles that you earn through the app. So that 150 very quickly becomes uh, 150 divided by 4 is 32.5. So 182.5 or whatever miles that is rounded up to the next mile. Um, really easy miles if you're getting 5x on that sometimes I have targeted promotions up to 10x it can really equal a lot of miles rather quickly so the mileage plus X app and remember United mileage plus Explorer card holders another great reason to hold the card 25 um, percent bonus on every time you use it and it's not just limited to restaurants there are online stores there's all kinds of stores. It even has a great uh, geo feature where you just let it have your current location. It'll say, hey, all these stores around you are offering um, bonus United Miles through this really simple, easy to use app. There have been a few stories lately of people earning Mega Miles uh, through the app in 101. If you just Google it, Mileage Plus X app, again, Melody, if she hadn't already thrown the link up there, she will. Um, what a great way to earn bonus miles on dining. The next way, the airline dining programs. Uh, many of you are probably familiar with this, but what you're not familiar with are the different levels with inside the dining programs. So there's um, the American Airlines dining program. Melody, again, will throw up the link to this. Um, every major airline has their own. Delta, Alaska, United, American, and then uh, Southwest each have their own dining programs. All you do is log in, create an account, you link your credit card that you're going to use at the restaurant to your account. So whenever you swipe that at a participating restaurant, it'll automatically pick it up and know, hey, this was your bill. This is how much you paid and you're going to earn X number of miles based on your bill. 
So the way it works for a couple of them, for example, with American Airlines, um, if you just sign up for the program, you get one mile per dollar. If you opt in for their emails, uh, you can get three miles per dollar just by opting in for emails. You don't have to give them your right email address. And then um, if you become a VIP member, you get five miles per dollar. What does it take to be a VIP member? It takes 12 different dining visits over the course of a year. You think, man, I gotta wait 12 different times um, in order to get VIP status. Well, no you don't. Go to your local participating restaurant and remember on each one of these sites, it'll say which restaurants in your local area by map or address um, or zip code these restaurants participate. Just go up to them and say, hey, what is the smallest denomination um, gift card that I can buy? Because you're gonna go there anyways if it's one of your favorite places. Buy 12 of those in 12 separate transactions on your credit card. Voila, you're a VIP member. You're now earning five America miles per dollar. So when you go out to eat, what you should be doing is, hey, do I have a Chase Inc. Plus? I can go to Staples and get this gift card um, if I want to earn ultimate rewards. Hey, are they on the United Miles Plus X app? I'm probably going to earn four or five United Miles per dollar. Um, hey, are they a part of the American, Delta, Alaska, United, or um, Rapid Rewards dining program? And they're not on the Mileage Plus X app? Well then, hey, I can go ahead and get VIP status with my 12 different transactions, and then I can earn <coughs> bonus miles there. And that's on top of the miles or points that you earn with your credit card. So if you're using the Chase Sapphire Reserve through the United Mileage Plus X app, you're gonna get three points per dollar um, for dining on the app, and then you're gonna earn whatever the app earns. Something also to know about the Mileage Plus X app is that sometimes it codes as a United purchase itself, which counts as travel. So in theory, and I haven't seen the latest data points, um, you can do what we call double dip or double earnings. Let's say um, you know some card earns bonus points on travel and you buy it, the gift card for the restaurant through the Mileage Plus X app. The card that you use thinks it's a United purchase, which counts as travel, so you get two or three points. And then United is gonna give you 5X points for the dining. And then if you have the United Mileage Plus Explorer card, you're gonna get 25% bonus on top of that. So let's say I use the City Thank You Premier that gets three times points on travel. I use it through the United Mileage Plus X app at Buffalo Wild Wings for a $30 check, and I'm also a United Mileage Plus Explorer card holder. I don't have to use the United credit card through the app. I can use any credit card. Uh, City thinks I made a purchase from United for 30 bucks, so they're gonna give me 90 thank you points. United knows that I made $30 at Buffalo Wild Wings, so I get 150 United miles, and I'm a Mileage Plus Explorer app, so I get it's 90 mileage plus Explorer card holder, so I get 25% bonus on top of that. So 90 thank you points and 182 United miles from a $30 check. That can add up really fast over the course of a year. So on top of that, the last thing I'll tell you about is use one of these very simple apps when you go out to dinner with a group or with a group of friends. And... Um, it lets you split the bill rather easily so that you can use your credit card for the entire bill which we're talking huge points if it's a big bill and they're on the Mileage Plus X app or they're part of the Dining Rewards program or you're just getting three times points through your Chase Sapphire Reserve and you can pay anybody back. So some of my favorite apps to use are Venmo, uh, Splitwise is a really easy one and then if everybody at the table has Chase, the Chase checking account, you can use Chase Quick Pay. Most local or nationwide banks now have something that's really easy to transfer money in between people at a table. So you say at the beginning, everybody knows, hey, that's Richard, like he's gonna use his credit card. We just know there's no way around it. Everybody get your Splitwise app out so he can use his credit card and get these points. Um, and we're just gonna give him cash. So always something to think in the back of your mind. My favorite thing to do is a travel card that recognizes the United Mileage Plus X app is travel. So I get bonus travel points on the original credit card. I get United Miles and I get my 25% bonus for having the United Mileage Plus X app. A lot of miles really quickly when I go back through my transactions on the on the app or when I go back through the dines that I've had on these dining programs and add it up over the course of a year. Um, it's like, oh, well there's a free one-way United ticket, no problem, 10,000 miles, you know, divided by five, two grand over the course of a year. Um, really easy deal. So that's what I have for you tonight, a quick recap. And um, remember, all of the cards I've talked about tonight, with the exception of the Wells Fargo Visa Signature, but the Wells Fargo Propel card is available in the link that Melody has pinned uh, to the group. 
I absolutely get paid a commission if you apply for these cards and use my link. I love the group. I love the effort it takes. Please protect your FICO score. Please make sure you never carry a balance. Interesting discussion in the group today. Um, I think Matthew's actually here on the group. Matthew, thanks for the uh, dialogue about why carrying a balance may be worthwhile to some people. I'm still going to say never carry a balance on your credit card. Um, but uh, that's always the same speech I give every single time. Um, so I'm going to get to a few of your questions tonight um, before we go through. Melody's got it um, right here in front of me. Thanks, Melody, for all your help as always. Um, so Casey says, do you have to use the United Mileage Plus card for 25% bonus? So I just answered that no. Um, it just recognizes that you're a card holder when you sign into your account. So you don't have to use the United Mileage Plus Explorer card to get the 25% bonus. Um, Lindsay says, is there a benefit to signing up for all of these programs in case there are different restaurants in each? Yeah, exactly that. I actually did a little search today and went through um, like Southwest Rapid Rewards versus American. And there are some different restaurants listed on there. What you're going to notice is that all of these sites run the same because they're run by the same company. You just need to pick which airline that you want to earn a few miles in. Um, Southwest does not uh, allow you to earn any more than three Southwest points per dollar. And all you have to do, though, is sign up for the emails for that. And uh, there's no VIP status to qualify for. But always worthwhile signing up for them all. Um, they most of them offer sign-up bonuses, so usually a thousand miles. Sometimes during the holiday, it can go up to three or five thousand miles for the first time that you sign up. Uh, you have to usually complete three different dines in order to qualify for the entire bonus. So make sure you don't miss out on the sign-up bonus for these dining programs. So uh, just that case, if you work your way through the dining programs when they're all offering bonus miles, uh, a quick few thousand miles in each program just for doing something that you're going to do anyways, anyway is something to consider. Um, April says, what if you're still trying to reach a minimum spend on a particular card? Do you use the SPG to spend on dining or the credit card that can give you the most miles on that particular category? Um, the simple answer there is, do you have enough uh, organic spend that's going to meet the SPG spend anyways? If you're not sure whether you're going to meet that uh, $5,000 minimum spend on the SPG card, then uh, you need to make sure that you're putting every dollar towards that. Uh, so that's my simple answer there. Uh, I need to try Noah's Mill again. Again, uh, bourbon tonight. Kentucky Small Batch Noah's Mill, fifty-one ninety-nine MSRP. Oh boy, that's good. I tell you what. Um, Melody asked, "Do does Uber Eats or Grubhub count as dining for these dining apps?" No, um, in my experience, Uber Eats does not, but here's the good news. Uber Eats counts as a travel or small transportation bonus. So sometimes the Freedom Card will offer 5x points per category on rideshare apps, which Uber counts. So if you use your Freedom Card during the quarter that Uber Eats is part of the uh, rideshare, you get five times points on Uber Eats. Um, the other little tidbits we've got, if you have an American Express Platinum Card that gives you the $15 per month Uber credit, why they couldn't link it all together and just say here's two hundred dollars i don't know that's amex um that fifteen dollar credit is counting towards um uber eats so free fifteen dollars in uber eats credit every month if you're not going to take uber uh, so that's uh, a little tip for you there um what other questions do we have here uh one about bank of america what are the benefits for cash back in restaurants uh, off the top of my head, I don't know the Bank of America bonuses, but I know they have several cash back cards that can earn at least 2% cash back. Um, don't forget about the straight flat cash back cards that are greater than 2%, some 2% that you might be able to sign up for. Um, the brand new 3% cash back card on all spin, uh, somebody help me out, uh, starts with an A, the bank that just started offering that. Um, but also if you're a USAA member, you can get targeted for the 2.5% cash back everywhere. Um, that's really a, a great card to have. Uh, but really the Chase Sapphire Reserve or the Chase Sapphire Preferred, if you can combine with the reserve, is going to give you more than 2% cash back anyways, along with the uh, Wells Fargo cards that I talked about earlier. Um, remember, stick around. We're going to give away six months of award wallet plus after answering just a couple more questions. Um, uh, Caitlin says, is it better to use a card with 2x, 3x points on dining from Chase or earn United Miles 1 to 1 or SPG 1 to 1? So, regardless of what points they are in that situation, I'm really going to say 2x or 3x points because there's a good chance that you can transfer those to an airline that can get you the same place United 
SPG, I wouldn't use SPG for dining unless I was maybe just a few hundred short SPG points for the next redemption I need to make, which is going to be, in my case, an airline transfer. I only use SPG points to transfer to airline programs. Um, so, everybody, if you want to win six months of Award Wallet Plus, please tell me your favorite restaurant in the uh, comments section. If you're still watching, I see there's 75 of you. Uh, really appreciate everybody's involvement in the group. Wow, I tell you, this past week has been absolutely insane. I can't get below 400 um, pending member requests. I can't get below 90 pending posts. Uh, I'm doing a lot of work over the next couple weeks to try and uh, get this a little bit more organized, make sure that you guys and gals get your questions asked and answered. What I would request of you is to go through the group and that little search function. I know it's not very good on Facebook, but go ahead and search the keyword that you want to look for. Oh, my mom just joined in. Hi, mom. Good to see you. Um, and search your topic before you ask the question. We've got a lot of repeat questions right now about taxes, about cruises. Just go ahead and search through there. Um, I don't recognize the majority of these restaurants that you guys and gals are posting up there. Um, but if it says Scott Seafood, then I guess it's got to be good. I mean, Scott's a good guy, right? So he's got to make some good uh, seafood. Everybody's trying to write your own little niche restaurants, right? Somebody give me a nationwide chain. I know not everybody's cool to go to your hole-in-the-wall restaurants or whatnot. Uh, Melody's got my little uh, random fire. There you go, Jane. Uh, thanks for joining in from my hometown of LaGrange, Jane Brackett, Chick-fil-A. Who doesn't love Chick-fil-A? I'm sorry if you live somewhere where Chick-fil-A um, is not yet gone. So, Melody, um, go ahead and do your, your random pick there and let me know who's won the six months of award wallet plus. A couple really big events, please. This Friday, Bourbon and Q&A, 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Gary Leff, editor, founder, View from the Wing, the smartest guy you're ever going to talk to in travel hacking and all things travel is going to join me. You can ask him any question you want to. You really don't want to miss that. And um, next Tuesday, uh, our topic is going to be how to maximize 100,000 British Airways Avios. A lot of you know some things about Avios. They call their program Avios, not points and miles, but Avios. But I guarantee you, you haven't found every way to maximize those points yet. Um, so our winner, six months of Award Wallet Plus, Susan Reisenman Lipman wins. I don't know what your favorite restaurant was. Melody didn't tell me. Maybe she'll tell me next time. But please send me a private message. I'll make sure to get you that, uh, that code. Thanks, everybody, for joining in. Love doing these. Continue to send me your questions. Continue to get involved in the group. A lot of big things coming. Um, join me Friday, 9 p.m. Gary left View from the Wing. And uh, we're going to catch you next week, same time, Tuesday, 9 p.m. Talk about 100,000 British Airways Avios. Thanks, everybody. Um, support the group. Any of the cars available tonight. Cashback link that Melody has pinned. Thanks, Melody, for your help as always. Catch everybody later.